All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age, with big differences in height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 227 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, Iron. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out there. You ready? So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Beautiful strike. taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Pretty good right hand. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Ooh, head kick lands, it's hurt. And he comes through with a big knee. 
An uppercut needed. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Good spin. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, collar tie. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Single collar tie there. Great punch landed with so much power. Ooh. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big knee lands there. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Nice leg kick lands, and he connects there. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. First round winding down here. for the end of round one. It's nothing, it's nothing. You've been knocked down before. You can pull this one out. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, round two. Oh, big punch land. Got a clip with the right hand. Oh, right up the gut, DC. He's 
in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Big leg kick lands. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Slips. Circling to his right. Unable to land with that punch. And he continues to move to his Oh, and there it is, maybe the seminal blow DC. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on Wobbly Lake. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Dan McCormick. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you, right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champion.